Okay, so we're working on B praise, which is in the key of D flat major. So what we're gonna do is put our capo on the first fret and play C shapes. There's nothing too crazy in this one, not like the one we did last week with Let Praise Awaken. So first chord is not a C, it's gonna be a D minor. So point your finger on the bottom E string, first fret, middle finger on the G string, second fret, and ring finger on the B string of the third fret, third fret B string. And I'm finger picking with these three fingers. And I'm holding my pick with these. That's what I do a lot when I play in a worship set. So we're playing that finger picking on D minor. Then we go to C major, ring finger on the A string, third fret, middle finger on the G string, sorry, the D string of the second fret, pointer finger, B string, first fret. And then we keep our fingers exactly how they are, except for our ring finger moves up to the G string on the second fret for A minor. And then G major, pointer finger on the A string. Uh, the second fret, middle finger on that top E string, ring finger, bottom E string. And you can also do ring finger on that B string, third fret, pinky on the bottom E string. I do a little bit of both. So we got D minor, C, A minor, and that's our verse, pretty much. That's our, in our intro. That's a verse until we get to the part. You make all things new. Right there. So the D minor for that part. C, G, D minor, C. major so I play F major bottom two strings the B and E on the first fret my pointer finger is holding down middle finger G string second fret ring finger on the D string in the third fret and I've said this before what sometimes I play like I'm essentially playing a bar chord but without playing the bar chord I'm playing this way by using my thumb that top sometimes I do that um, I wouldn't recommend it at first lock in on this one first so I forgot I even said that so the chorus F A minor G then F then G and then you're back to the intro chords and that's when I would start strumming so it would be like F G Strum D minor C. And I'm very lightly strumming. You can tell it's just that's how I'm strumming. Da, da, da. Just like down and up. Da, 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 da. So I'm just doing that kind of one, two, three, four, five, 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 five. just emphasizing different and accenting different beats. And that's the verse coming back in. And keep lightly strumming. And I don't have the lyrics in front of me, but I believe it's when she sings alive. I'm alive you make all things. That instead of going to the D minor there, you're gonna to go to the F major. Then C, G, and then you build it on that. Same thing, F. So 
So then for the chorus, we do the same chorus chords, but you're in on your C, or on your G, sorry. And you have a quick C over E. So we play our C chord like we normally do, but we play the E string open. Um, to F. So C over E, then F. A minor, G. C over E. And then <clears throat> you keep that pretty full strumming wise. That's my pattern that I'm doing there on the chorus. Um, after the chorus, it kind of goes, kind of goes down dynamically. We'll soften it up. So instead of doing the we'll soften here. And it kind of becomes a down. Down, 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 down. down, down. So I'm just playing C and then I'm playing a C sus. So the only difference from C and C sus is where your middle finger is on that um, on the D string. For a C, a regular C, the C sus, your pinky will go down on the D string, third fret. And for the first time through, first two times through the bridge, that's what you play. C and C sus. That light little down strum. And then the next the third bridge, C, then you go D minor, A minor, F. You can start to build that, so instead of doing just down strums, you can start to bring down and up. That'll be what you do throughout the bridge until the very last one. And the last one, play C over E. I'm sorry, C over G. So you play your normal C just like you would, except your middle, your ring finger. I move it up to that top E string, and then pinky where your ring finger was on the A string on the third fret. So the very last time you play C over G, and then the progression is the same after that. quick C and instead of being C over E F it's just gonna be a normal C C F and then your course is the same same as we did earlier and then it ends on the C sorry if the mic dropped a little bit as I was going um, but that is be brave